Good morning. Good morning. Yes, sir. Good morning. Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this thing called a 24 hour write-a-thon. I'm very excited about it even though it may not sound or look like it quite yet. <laughs> so you may be wondering, what is a 24 hour write-a-thon? And it's as the name suggests, I'm going to be writing for 24 hours straight, pausing only for the necessary food breaks and taking out my dog and other necessities. But mostly I will be writing all day for 24 hours and seeing how many words I can get in those 24 hours. And also if madness just overtakes me at some point and I'm writing nonsense on the page. We're gonna find out together. <laughs> I did first see this over at Cam at Wolfshot Publishing's channel. He might have been the one to like come up with it first. I'm not entirely sure, but it was, his was great. And then I also saw, I think Ben Sanders did one too. So I will link both of those guys down below. And now it is my turn to attempt this. Ugh. <laughs> so it is 6.20 a.m. now as I am about to start writing. My plan is to write until I finish this coffee. So, let's get to it. I'm ready. No, I'm not. Just like the record to show that I beat the sun. So coffee's done. It is 6.50. So I can focus, 6.50. And I got 1,132 words. Also, I went and put my contacts in. <laughs> Look at this dog. <laughs> he just lays at my feet all day. He likes to be with. So I've started a new story. I say I've started. At what point can you say that like it's, you've been doing it? I mean, I have 11,401 words in it, but I just started it like the beginning of September, or like the last day of August kind of thing. So. It's a new story for me. It's a murder mystery, like PI kind of story. Just cause I love reading those. <clears throat> oh my gosh. No, see, I'm still so tired. My voice does not want to work. <laughs> but one thing that I'm having with this story, other than it's really been fun to write and I actually have like a full outline on accident. Like I didn't set out plotting it, but it all just kind of came to me. So this might be magic, who knows? <laughs> but I cannot figure out what Hence, I want this story to be in. It's first person, which I know is not necessarily the most common. Well, PIs, they're sometimes in first person. But anyways, I don't know if I want it to be past tense or present tense. And it's like every other paragraph. That's not true, that would be ridiculous. It's like every other scene, I change the tense. Why? I cannot make up my mind. And the hard part is I actually started out the story. The first chapter was written in third person past tense. And then I was like, no, it needs to be first person. So it was first person past tense. And then I've tried to turn it into first person present like five different times while writing it. I have no idea why. And I did it during this little sprint thing too. I even have, what tense do I want this in? What tense? I don't know. I've truly, I don't know that I've ever had this much trouble with picking a tense before now. So I guess, you know what, it's got, if it's not one thing, it's the other. If I can get the plot and the characters easily, well, I just can't figure out how to tell it. But it's been really fun to write. I actually have it set in Nashville, a city that I've never been to before. So I'm really using Google Maps right now. I might actually... Nashville sounds pretty cool. So maybe one day I'll visit there and I can use like actual what I see other than just Google Maps. Who knows? But it's before seven. So I consider a thousand words to be a win. That's surprisingly good. <laughs> I guess I was just really in the zone. I think I knew the scene I was gonna write and my brain works better in the morning. We're gonna compare. I'm gonna make a graph. Ooh, this will be fun. This isn't writing, but whatever, it's fine. <laughs> 24 hour write a thon is going to include some graphs and some stats. So let me make that real quick. 
Yay! I already have the word count tracker that I've started for September, so I am going to go ahead and put that information that I've done in there now, and I'll just kind of add to it as the day goes on. But at the bottom, I will put in specifically 24-hour write-a-thon. Let's do it. All right, we got our hours set up. And so for the six, oh, no, for the six o'clock hour, we got one, one, three, two so far. Woo, 24 hour ride a thon, 24 hour ride a thon. I'm also debating if I want more caffeine now or should I wait? Now or wait? Probably now, let's do it. <laughs> We're just gonna do black coffee this time. That's not the right time. <laughs> Here comes the sun, da na na na. Here comes the sun. Oh, no sun. <laughs> I'm gonna step over the pup. <laughs> this is great riding weather though. Just nice and rainy. All right. It's officially a little past seven. I know I didn't start writing until 6.20, but I was up at six, so I'm gonna go ahead and count that as hour six to seven, and just however many words I get then. Can you imagine if I actually got a thousand words every hour, which is not gonna happen, but if I did, and a little over a thousand at that, I would do like half a NaNoWriMo worth of words in one day. That's crazy. That's also not gonna happen, but uh, what if? <laughs> I'm back to past tense. Why? Also, my coffee's ready, so we're taking another break. <laughs> we're back. Duke's still chilling. <laughs> Sometimes you can see hummingbirds, so I'm gonna see if I can't catch one. Seven fifty-one. I'm gonna call it for this hour. The puppy wants to go outside and I need to get ready for a run. Last time I'd started a new chapter, so it was easy to remember where my cutoff was. So I wrote 892 words um, in this hour, so already. Not quite as much. I guess I don't have an extra 10 minutes, but I don't think I would have caught up to over a thousand. I'm going to, Duke, what'd you do? I'm gonna go ahead and put where I stopped. And then that way when I return, oh, and I wrote 8.92. Yay! That way when I return, it'll be easy to keep track. <sighs> All right. About to start my run. It was looking pretty gray out, so we're gonna hope it doesn't rain on me. I'm dying. This is what happens every time I run. It doesn't matter how fit I get, and I've been able to run, walk, I have marathon before, so like reasonably fit. No, this never gets better. Also, I made it back just before nine. It's just before 8.50 actually, or it is 8.50, I don't know. I'm gonna try and write a little bit while I cool down so that I'm not like burning up in the shower. So I'm actually gonna get some words this hour. Yay, nine o'clock. 391 words. <laughs> Get all of the focus I'm doing on my other screen. Here, let's pretend. <laughs> 391 words actually isn't that bad, especially because, you know, I went on my run, but it just looks so sad. The trajectory of my little <laughs> graph is gonna be womp womp. <sighs> It's fine. <laughs> Yay, 24 hour ride a thon. I, right now, minus the red face, I am very enthusiastic. <sighs> Flash forward to like, 12 hours from now. I cannot imagine it will be the same. <laughs> One thing I'm a little bit surprised by is that I haven't written in any other stories yet. It's just been the private investigator murder mystery one that I just started. And normally I switch projects every like, I don't know, 1500 words or something. So I guess it's just surprising that, that I've done like 
3,000, over 3,000 words in one project and like more or less one sitting worth. And I think I'm actually gonna continue on with this project too. So I don't know if it's because it's in like that very new stage that I'm like, oh, I have so much I can write about or I'm just more excited about it or what? Cause that's not quite what it feels like, but I really just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. One thing that's not surprising though is that I am still doing pretty well for the morning. I usually write as soon as I wake up and I'll write till about noonish. And I usually wake up around six. So it's not like today was that much different. The real question is going to be when it gets to like two or three, when I usually have my lull for the day, just generally, like I want to take a nap then, <laughs> how I'm going to do with continuing to write. Cause I think if I get over that hump, I'll be fine. But also maybe I won't be. <laughs> we'll compare the morning to like the afternoon to the night. <sighs> I've only done three hours, oh my gosh. <laughs> also, breakfast of champions and more coffee. The hummingbird. 10 o'clock. Nope, focus, focus, focus. Just under 3,000 words for the day. Ooh, right a thon, right a thon. <laughs> my hair is crazy. So I'm finally switching to a new project. I actually kind of talked about this project on the live stream with Jessica at JLW Reads and it is a sci-fi dystopian basically where because of the actions of some corporations humans can no longer have children. So the story follows and is like narrated by the youngest kid in the world and her experiences. So she's going to school, but she's the last one in school basically because everyone else is having to work and dedicate their time to figuring out how to solve this problem because humans are basically just gonna completely die out. So it's been fun to write and I'm actually writing it from like a diary perspective. It's not called a diary, but that makes it very, very different from the murder mystery story I'm writing, which follows an adult and just the way that the style is done in it's one's a diary format, one's like happening in the moment. I think that separation makes it a lot easier to switch between projects. I always need that because I've definitely found that when I'm writing like two young adults at the same time and they're both in first person present tense, it's like uh, trying to keep one voice separate is a little bit more difficult. <laughs> but I don't have that problem this time, so I guess I'm gonna get to writing it. Let's go. Let's see how many, I've written 4,000 words in this story so far. It's tentatively titled 2089 because that's the year that I think this is taking place. Whereas the other one I've called, <laughs> if you can see it on my stat log, is called Murder Mystery Tennessee. You know. Uh. <laughs> I'm getting distracted by YouTube and it's not even like a recent video. It's about 2015. Pull yourself together. <laughs> what happened at hour six, Kate? Nothing written. Oh, I don't know. What happened indeed? Just casually reading instead of writing. So many words, so many words, so many places. Okay, now it's time to get to work. All right, so it's like half past the hour. So I'm going to reward myself for getting over 500 words um, with some mochi. <laughs> Mochi. And I guess I can also give you an in quotes desk tour because it's not really. <laughs> it's just like a folding table and I put my monitor and my computer on it. I just like it because this is like a sunroom kind of thing, kind of. So it's just pretty. This one is green tea and this one is cookies and cream. Ooh. I started a new chapter, I got 579 words in that, and I had 648 left in this one, so. 
Oh, that's up close. <laughs> Faith restored that I could do this because I was starting to doubt myself. <sighs> and it's 12.58, so it's almost one o'clock. I think I'm actually gonna run to Starbucks. I have a free drink. Oh, Hummingbird. There he is. Goodbye. I'm gonna run to Starbucks, get some more caffeine because why the heck not? <laughs> I'll probably need it more later, but I really want it now. So I'm going to update and see where I'm at and then split. Oh, I actually had my best hour yet. Look at that. Woo! Part of me thinks that I had a good hour because I took a break to read, you know? I refilled that creative well, but that kind of defeats the purpose of the 24-hour write-a-thon, so look, I'm only human. I had to take a break once. <laughs> took it early on, too, so we'll see how the rest of the day goes. <laughs> also, the best thing about working from home is that <sighs> this is my uniform. This is my outfit of the day. So cute, so comfortable. No one cares what I wear. This also means that because I'm not gonna get out of my car to get Starbucks, I don't have to put on anything else. I'm just gonna slip into some house shoes, <laughs> then I'm ready to go. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Starbucks, what can I get started for you? Hi, can I get a venti coffee frappuccino and a venti cup of water? Venti coffee frappuccino and a venti cup of water, anything else? Nope, that's it. Awesome, your soda's gonna be Thank you. I swear this dog would sit out here forever with me. I usually just lay on the hammock and bring a book out here. And we'll just chill for like an hour. We're back. All right, I'm calling it an hour. I'm gonna go make some lunch or dinner, dinner, something. It's almost three. <laughs> I'm curious if I'll get to any of these other stories because look at how many zeros there are everywhere else. I'm just really dedicated. Murder mystery, Tennessee. Obviously the idea that I could ever hit 25,000 has up and left the building. Was it ever here? <laughs> no, but I might be able to achieve half of that. Like I bet I could double. I could more than double what I have now. I, my new goal, ooh. This is dangerous. My new goal is going to be 15,000 words. 15,000 words in one day. The most I think I've ever done, I once did a super mega writing day and I got just over 10,000. It was not a 24 hour write-a-thon. Although it was during Camp NaNoWriMo, I think, so it felt almost like a 24 hour write-a-thon, but we'll see, we'll see. But I need food, food first, always. Bring the little bit of my drink that I have left with me. <laughs> Multitasking. Food. Hallmark. Work. Woo! I've talked before about how I love having Hallmark on in the background. It is super easy to follow. It provides us some kind of like white noise. And I mean, it's, it's not like you have to really pay attention to understand what's going on. So, and it's just cute. It's just fun. I kind of like the balance of when I'm writing a murder mystery and writing about people dying. Cute stuff. Huh? It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
somehow, even though I was eating, I managed to get 666 words in this last hour, which is pretty good. I'm at a total of 6,500 words for the day ish. 6,500 words, which is awesome. Uh, I will say that I am feeling the, like the distraction kind of thing. Like I keep wanting to go to other websites. And when I say I keep wanting to go, I mean, I do keep going. <laughs> I'm checking Buzzfeed. I'm checking YouTube. I'm checking Reddit. I am checking everything. <laughs> It's bad. And my immediate next thought was, oh, I should check the NaNoWriMo page. It wasn't, oh, I should get back to writing. It was, I should check NaNoWriMo. <laughs> I am really liking the story though. That's always the great part about this. Just about writing in general. Oh, I'm officially on hour 11. I just finished hour 10, so. <laughs> Dang. 14 hours to go. <laughs> Hey, uh, Kate, what happened to hours 11 and 12? A literal reenactment. Nose in a book. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all, I have just been working too much today. But now, time to get back at it. Woo, let's write all the words. Three hundred fifty-eight words. I'm just now realizing that I've only made it basically like halfway through my 24-hour write-a-thon. Halfway. <laughs> that sounds crazy because I feel like I've done a lot today. This is more than I usually write, which is the point. The other day, because I'm tracking for all of September, I'm tracking all my word counts. At one point, I got 4,500. That's really good, really good for one day's work for me usually is 4,500 words. Like that's, I crushed it that day. And so today to have 6,900 and for the record, after that 4,500, I only got 346 words the next day. It's like a give and take um, because I'll have a really good writing day, but then I need to do like some brainstorming and stuff. Or I just have like exhausted um, my creative energy or something. It's just how it goes, you know, give and take. I think I can regularly do like 2,000 words a day or 2,500 words a day is not bad. I think I could maintain that. <sighs> That's why nano isn't super challenging. It's challenging in its own right, usually because I'm working on multiple projects besides my NaNoWriMo project, but like 2,500 words in a day, is pretty standard. So anyways, to already have almost 7,000 words in a day and to be aiming for, you know, 15,000, ooh buddy. Uh, and pup update. <laughs> Still right next to me. That's how he do. I'm gonna go sit outside and work, but my neighbors are at the pool, their pool. <laughs> And it's not that I would mind like writing outside, but because I was gonna take my camera, it just, I, I haven't again gotten over having my camera in a public place. Cause I feel like a weirdo. <laughs> and I feel even more like a weirdo with neighbors because then I gotta explain it. Like I'm gonna see these people again. It's like, oh, I make videos. And there's just, there's just too many extra follow-up questions. That's my problem with so many things. <laughs> It's like, I, oh, no, <laughs> no, I don't want it. But it's okay, because I can still see outside and it's gorgeous. So that's why I write in here. At some point I will go to my desk in my room because I like being surrounded by books. I always say this, but there's something so inspiring about being surrounded by the things that I want my writing to be turned into. That makes sense, sure. <laughs> but right now I gotta enjoy what daylight there is left. Spoiler, not much. All right, it just turned eight. I got a little over 500 words in the last hour and now I'm going to take this pepper out on his walk. Let's see, Duke, are you ready to go on a walk? Are you ready to go on a walk? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm already tired. 
and it's only 9 30. to be fair i usually start getting ready for bed at this time i know i'm like an old lady but it's because i get up at six my bed sounds so nice <laughs> that's okay just eight and a half more hours that's all <laughs> One thousand forty-six. OMG! <laughs> For as tired as I am, this is no joke. The best I've done since hour seven, <laughs> since literally noon today. This is the best I've done. And I'm at eighty-six hundred words for the entire day, for the entire twenty-four hours. So I think fifteen thousand is definitely possible. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight hours left. Oh, I've done two thirds of this already. That's crazy. All right, so I have eight hours left. If I got close to, if I just get close to a thousand in each one, I will definitely hit that fifteen thousand word goal. <laughs> Something I find interesting about this story, since I am working again almost exclusively in this murder mystery PI kind of story, and I don't know why. I usually flip. I have no explanation for this, but 7,800 of the 8,600 words are from this story. And I just, it is flowing. And it's flowing at a rate that like even my zero drafts don't usually flow at. And I would argue that I know more about this story than my usual zero drafts. I don't know if it's because like murder mystery, PI, cop-ish kind of stuff are in some ways procedural, kind of like rom-coms are or like contemporary, maybe not contemporaries, but like, you know what I mean? Like there's an expectation that the reader has every time they go into that kind of book. Like with romance novels, you always know that character A is gonna meet character B, and for some reason they can't be together, but then they'll figure it out at the end and it's gonna be a happy ending. So like murder mysteries, you always know that you have a whodunit to expect. You're gonna have some deaths, and I think the characters tend to really lead it while also being plot heavy. Does that make any sense? I don't know. I just, I don't know if that's what's making this so much easier or if I just, I don't know. It's so weird. It's so weird. It's not a bad problem to have. So I should probably like stop talking about it as if it's a bad thing. <laughs> it's just a surprise, a very happy, very welcome surprise. What time is it? It's 10.03 p.m. There's a Whataburger in my town and at 11 they start serving breakfast foods, which is just the best thing in the world. And I really want a honey butter chicken biscuit. So I think if I can motivate myself to go until 11, I can get a honey butter chicken biscuit and then I can, I don't think the Starbucks is open. Oh darn, it's already closed. <laughs> it opens at five though. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna help me but I'm totally capable of making my own coffee, so. And I think I'm gonna have to. Ooh, honey butter chicken biscuit. Call in my name. My method for knowing when I stopped off at a scene is just the two number signs. <laughs> but you know, it works. Also, look at all of these names and words that I just need to fill in later. By the way, the dog is still right here. Right here. <laughs> my God. My best hour yet. I think it was the temptation of the honey butter chicken biscuit. It really compelled me to work much faster. <laughs> As if that could magically make the time go by faster. <laughs> Dang though, 1,735 words in an hour. <gasps> I passed the 10,000 point. Woohoo, look at me go. <laughs> honey butter chicken biscuit time! Woohoo! Thank you. Chicken biscuit, honey butter chicken biscuit. Hi, Buffy. Hi, Buffy. Hi, Buffy. Yes. <laughs> it's officially Friday. And I officially regret my decision. <laughs> no, that's not true but I am tired. Let's see, 587 words, and then I had a little bit in the other chapter. Oh, scroll. 587 plus 279. Mm. I'm very surprised I managed to get as many as I did while also still going to Whataburger to get the honey butter chicken biscuit, which was delicious, and I scarfed it up, and I'm sad it's gone now.
And once again, I changed tints. Literally, I have one paragraph that starts, I drive. And the next one, I was wrong. I laid there, I said, but then up there, I put say. Girl, choose one. <laughs> I think, again, this is like zero draft stuff that can definitely be fixed in the next draft once I figure out exactly how I want to do it. So it's really no big deal. But also, it's kind of infuriating as a writer just to like, it's like I'm throwing all of the grammar rules out. Like, who cares? Mm. Now I have 10,000 just in the one story. 11,000, woohoo. All right, well, I definitely think 15,000 is possible now. Oh, gross, I still have six hours to accomplish it in. <laughs> it's 1.40. I decided not to go into my bedroom with my desk because it was too close to my bed. If y'all have seen, you know, some of my recent videos, you can kind of see the layout of my room. And all I have to do is like vaguely scoot back. I could literally fall back from my desk onto my bed. And I think that's exactly what would happen <laughs> if I went in there right now. I'm so tired. Uh... There's something about writing a lot or I assume drawing or painting a lot or sewing a lot or any kind of like creative thing like when you're using a whole lot of your mental capacity to do it that just it already kind of wipes you out. I think that's why NaNoWriMo and Camp NaNoWriMo are so tough for a lot of people just because especially if you know a lot of people have jobs or they have school and then they're also tagging on this very like mentally taxing activity on top of that and it's just like it's exhausting and so 24 hours, no sleep. I don't know, when was the last time I stayed up for 24 hours straight? Like I know I did it in high school, but, and I probably pulled a couple all-nighters that were 24 hours plus worth in college. But I don't know that I've done it since being like an adult. <laughs> and I think I know why. <laughs> you can hear Duke in the background licking himself. Still just hanging out. There he is. Doke. Goal is still 15,000 and no sleep. Ugh. Okay, new plan. If I get to 15,000 words, I can stop and go to bed. That's almost the spirit of the 24 hour write a thought, right? <laughs> So let's see how fast I can get an additional 2,500 words. Oh, gosh, I don't know. We'll see how I feel after I get the 2,500 words. Maybe somehow, some way, I will be more awake than right now. Probably not. Oh my gosh. I could literally fall asleep just like sitting right here now. <laughs> I could fall asleep holding the camera up. I was just resting like this and I was like, this would be so nice. Just, uh, just to go to sleep. No. <laughs> I'm getting crazy eyes here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've looked up the correct way to spell occasionally, but I always get it wrong and I've turned off the spell check. I don't know if you can see that. I've turned off the spell check in Scrivener just because I don't like seeing the lines and I turned it off because when I was writing the fantasy story, I had a lot of names that were of places, things, people that were made up. And so obviously I didn't just, I just didn't want to have to go through every single thing and be like, no, it's fine. No, really Scrivener is fine. So I've turned them off but I should probably turn them back on for this story because it's just some parts of this are a mess. <laughs> and that stupid word occasionally. Two C's, one S, two L's. I swear, if that's not how you spell it, because I've looked it up so many times. Define occasionally. Uh oh, are there two N's? That doesn't make sense. Okay. Two C's, one S, one N, two L's. Occasion. Occasion. Ollie. <laughs> I decided to watch a couple other 24 hour write-a-thons to make myself 
I thought to make myself feel better, but now I'm like, <laughs> I don't know that it helped. <laughs> I don't know. I've decided to start drinking because that always makes everything better. <laughs> Especially writing, right? Ugh. <laughs> Admittedly, I did have a little bit to drink earlier and I didn't film it, but I'm gonna film it now. because I'm gonna show you what I'm drinking. <laughs> First up, we have these guys, which are rum soaked gummy bears. Whoop, put them in there. I made these yesterday and I let them soak over 24 hours. One more white one. Come here. There we go. And now I'm going to pour the champagne over the top of them. Perfect. So cute. One other thing I should point out, I'm gonna drink a little first, <laughs> is that writing a murder mystery novel when you've been up for almost 24 hours and it's also like three in the morning <laughs> is not the best of ideas. I don't find myself to be someone that necessarily scares easily, but I'm about to get to like a pretty gruesome scene with the body. And like, I just have uh, the creepy crawlies a little bit. So that's partially what the champagne's for and partially just cause I wanted it. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the dead body. Woo! <laughs> I swear only writers can get away with saying something like that. <laughs> Can you imagine any other scenario where that's something that someone would like woo for? <laughs> let's get back to the dead body, guys! Woo! Okay, let's go. <laughs> Cam actually had rules and I appreciate his dedication. This is a no rule zone, all stats, and <laughs> just celebrating what I can actually do. And also, a lot of drinking. <laughs> Haven't started writing since I got the drink again. I just sat here and I think I actually sat for like five minutes just in this pose, staring at my screen, not rereading what I've written, not trying to get back into it, just staring. Like the kind of staring where you're really actually maybe falling asleep. That's what happened. <laughs> Update, I have moved to the couch. I have a little sheet on it. <sighs> Tennis is on, a replay. I'm very tired. This is the beginning of the end. Once you move to the couch, there's no going back. <laughs> it is 3.03 a.m. I have 13,543 words. I'm now at the point, could be wrong, that I'm like, even if I hit 15,000, I kind of want to just keep going, you know? Three more hours, that's it. I've already been 21 hours, so how much worse can it get? <laughs> oh, that's never the way you want to leave something. Because <laughs> that means it's going to get worse. This was supposed to be the word absorbent. Oh, I'm too tired to even try and get it to focus. <laughs> Not only did I type absorbent, which is definitely not a word, and I meant absorbent, but then also, I don't even know if that's the correct word in this context. My brain is shot. And surprising none of the writers out there, words are hard. <laughs> so close and yet so far. Lots of fours in this, which is perfect because it's four o'clock. I have entered the last hour. <laughs> I finally had to give up and sub my contacts for my glasses. I brush my teeth and I'm ready for bed <laughs> whenever it comes. <laughs> uh, I'm still not at 15,000 words though. Like it's just my brain in this last hour has just, it's stopped. Honestly, it's stopped. How many words do I need? Let's see, 15,000 minus Nope, 15,000, not 1,500. See, the struggle is so real right now. 251. I only need 251 words in this hour. But guess what? Last hour, I only got 301. So you can see why this is a problem. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, okay. Not only can I do it, I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna put this up. 
I'm going to wallow later and how tired I am. Wow, look at that glare on them glasses. And uh, yeah, you'll hear back from me. Or you won't. Maybe I'll just fall asleep and no one will ever know. <laughs> Did it, 350 words. It stopped focusing, so you're just gonna have to trust me, but yay, 350. Over by 99 words. I do not even care about the rest of the hour. I'm gonna count this as a successful 24 hour write a thought. <sighs> if such a thing exists. I am done, I'm done. I'm gonna go to bed. <sighs> I'm gonna come up with some graphs so you'll see me at the end of this video looking, I sure hope, better than I look right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll go ahead and ask now for you guys to please comment down below and let me know if you would ever do this. <sighs> would I recommend? Y'all know I love a challenge and y'all know I love me some stats, but at what cost? At what cost? Truly. Why? Why? I say that. Who knows? I might do one of these again. That's a bad idea. I'm saying it now. If I ever say I want to do this again, I want all of you to tell me that I'm an idiot and I said as much. Past me is telling future me not to do it. So we'll see if present me at the time agrees. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. I'm tired, okay, bye. <laughs> hmm. I've slept for like four hours. Regret, it's more than being sorry. Uh, <laughs> I did it, I did it, I did it, yay!